Hello, my name is Jose Estrada and I will be doing my presentation on polycystic kidney disease. What is polycystic kidney disease? Polycystic kidney disease is a genetic disease that can be inherited from one or both parents, meaning it can be autosomal dominant or recessive. There's about 600,000 people who suffer from PKD in the United States. Its incidence is equal among men and women and it affects all races, ages, and sexes equally. About 50% of people with PKD will have kidney failure by the age of 60, and PKD is the fourth leading cause of kidney failure. Once diagnosed with kidney failure, they will need dialysis or a transplant in order for survival. Pathophysiology. PKD is characterized by a formation of multiple grape-like cysts in the kidneys, as shown in the picture to the right. The grape like cysts can contain serous fluid, blood, or urine. These cysts can make the kidneys larger than normal and damage normal kidney tissue. PKD leads to chronic kidney disease, which can progress to kidney failure or end stage renal disease. Life can be prolonged up to 14 years with dialysis or transplantation. To the right, we can see the, the larger than normal kidneys. Any normal human kidney should be the size of an adult fist, and on the picture we can see that it's almost the size of a football. Who is at risk? There are two main types of polycystic kidney disease, autosomal dominant PKD and autosomal recessive PKD. Autosomal dominant PKD is the most common form of PKD, being responsible for 90% of all cases. It is inherited and requires only one abnormal gene to cause the disease. Symptoms usually begin between ages 30 and 40, but can begin earlier. Autosomal recessive PKD is passed from parent to child by recessive inheritance. Symptoms can begin in the earliest months of life or even in the womb. It has a rapid progression and is often fatal. This form of PKD is rare, occurring in one out of 25,000 people. Signs and symptoms. Initial symptoms are hematuria and dull heaviness in the flank or lumbar region. Other symptoms include high blood pressure, headache, increase in abdomen size, frequent urination, kidney stones, recurrent UTIs, and hematuria. Risks and complications. With PKD, there is the risk of developing cysts in the liver, pancreas, spleen, ovaries, and large intestines. The complications can be aneurysms in the brain, diverticulosis, kidney failure, kidney stones, and loss of kidney function. PKD is diagnosed by ultrasound imaging, CT scan, or MRI. Diagnosis is made without the use of dyes or radiation so it is safe for all patients with PKD. Early referral to a nephrologist is key in preventing complications and assuring prompt care to those who are affected. If diagnosed with PKD and plan on having children, it is suggested to have genetic testing to assess the risk of passing the disease to future children. Prevention. There is really no way to prevent PKD as much as there is a way to increase the lifespan of the disease. Ways we can do this are by controlling blood pressure, avoiding caffeine and beverages, drinking plain water throughout the day, lots of plain water, education on smoking, exercise, weight control, and reducing salt intake from the diet. Basically, prevention consists in, pro in protecting your kidneys. The nursing diagnosis we would use for PKD would be chronic pain. The main goal here would be to keep pain under control. Things we would need to do is assess comfort level and pain level. Interventions we can do are analgesic administration, education on the medications they're taking, and we can explore non-pharmacologic pain relief measures as well. Outcomes. The patient will verbalize understanding of disease process. The patient will demonstrate how to correctly take prescribed medications. And the patient will report improvement of pain. Like I said earlier, PKD has no current treatment. Complications are treated as they present. Some pharmacologic measures to treat PKD include 
medicine to control high blood pressure, and pain medication. Other studies suggest drinking plain water throughout the day and avoiding caffeine beverages can slow the growth of cysts. But the most promising ways to treat PKD are dialysis and kidney transplantation. It is also important to treat infections promptly with antibiotics. Questions. Alfonso, a 22-year-old man who is wondering what are some ways he can increase the longevity of his disease. What would you tell Alfonso? The correct answers are 1, 2, and 3. Question number two. A male comes into the ER during your shift complaining of dull heaviness in the flank. The client also reports hematuria. What do you suspect the problem is? The correct answer is A. The client is showing the initial symptom and sign of PKD. Rationales for these questions are on the bottom in the notes. My presentation is now over. If you have questions or comments, let me know in your review. Thank you.